Oh, wow. That's a really nice graphic. That was them racing against each other. <laughs> All right, so total DK Fantasy points for their NASCAR picks through six races here. Wow, look at... Look at creepy little bears there on the graphic. 196 DK fantasy points. And Jeff, wow, I don't know what you're on, man, but let me get some of it there in that graphic. 107 DK fantasy points. You've got, you're like laps around. I, I feel like Pierce has really lapped yeah. you here. He has. Apparently my pit crew isn't performing very well right now. <laughs> no, I mean, we've had a couple, we've had a couple mechanical issues. Uh, I don't really know what's led to those points because I didn't realize we were being tracked until right now, but I'll make oh. up for it today. We'll start, we'll catch Pierce by the end of the season. Don't worry, there's like a million races left. Wow, yeah. so you weren't like taking this seriously? Is that what you're saying? Come on, it doesn't matter if we're keeping track or not. Like you gotta deliver winners for the people. That's why they're watching right now. That's why it took Emerson five years to graduate from college. Because, because I care. Attention to detail. Thank you very I much. Did, you know, I, I don't wanna, if we're gonna get into results, I mean, I gave out a top five winner last week, Tyler yep. Reddick. Top five plus 300. That's not in the graphic though, but fine. Yeah, let's just go on. Yeah, okay. So let's get your <laughs> plays for the Toyota Owners 400 at Richmond Raceway in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And we'll see, you know, Jeff is on his mission to lap Pierce. Kay. So Chase Elliott, your top price driver at 10,500. He's one of two along with Kyle Larson uh, over 10K. So are either of those guys worth paying up for, Jeff? So, I mean, you know, from a strategy standpoint, you may get lower ownership, it feels like, on them this week. But no, they, they don't They don't really feel like you need to pay up for these dudes at all. You've got Martin Truex Jr. down there at 9,600, who's just got a fantastic record at this event. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to be on him because he's driven well lately, too. But, I, I mean, I think you can even go further down the list. Uh, you know, there's so many playable guys in, in like, the, the high 8K range, like Ross Chastain who's just been lighting up the rubber lately. I'm still trying to deal with these NASCAR terms, but I mean, you know, Alex Bowman uh, is, is driven really solidly. He's get, coming off a week of getting criticized for backing into wins. So there's tons of playable play, play people. I, I think the biggest thing here is, you know, the, the lineup construction, I think is going to be very similar this week, but I will suggest say that you should probably be starting lower down. I'll, I'll, I'll say like Ross Chastain is probably the, the guy that you should be looking at the most this week at 8,900. Pierce, what do you think? Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, they're the super expensive guys. Do you feel like you need to pay up for one of them? Well, first, let's talk about records. And let me peel back the curtain a little bit. I don't like the repeat picks that I give in my articles in the videos. Wow. But in the article last week, I had Ross Chastain at plus 2,600 to win, and he won. My man! My man! That doesn't factor into the graphic, but I imagine if you put that into the graphic, I would have done a couple laps around there. You already did. <laughs> But yeah, you, you don't want to play Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott was okay last year in the fall race. I had an issue on pit road. But you look at last year's day race, he almost got lapped at Richmond. Sure, he was decent at Phoenix in the last race, and his pit crew kind of hurt him a little bit. But Elliott, as Jeff mentioned, really doesn't compare well to Truex. And then Kyle Larson, if there's one track where I don't want to play Kyle Larson, it's at Richmond, these short, flat tracks. He hasn't quite figured them out yet. Of course, he will figure one of them out eventually. But even when he does, a win's probably not going to be enough. I need him to lead laps. And he hasn't really demonstrated that he can lead a bunch of laps at this specific track. There's a lot of guys in the $9,000 range, specifically the JGR cars. That's where I would target. Yo, how do you feel about uh, Pierce, last season's winner here, Alex Bowman? 8500 bucks. Yeah, Jeff kind of mentioned that he backed into wins, and this is one of the ones where it was more notorious that out of nowhere, Bowman wins the race. But Bowman ran in the top five the entire race, had a fast pit stop at the end, and he won. And he did that same thing again at Martinsville later in the season, ran in the top five, had a fast pit stop at the end, and he won. Oh, by the way, I had Alex Bowman in the article at plus 4,000 yeah. that time. So, yeah, that's pretty good as well. Yeah, he can do that again. Uh, we saw Chase Briscoe do this in the last kind of real race. Forget about Atlanta and Cody. You got to go back to Phoenix the last time we had a real race. And Briscoe was a top 10 driver that day. But he had a fast pit crew at the end. He cycled to the front. He held on to the lead. Uh, I think Alex Bowman can repeat the same magic again if he wants. But uh, I don't think he'll lead a bunch of laps. Like, no pun intended, I, I truly believe, Real Talk, that, like, you guys do need to, like, toot your own horns here. Like, when you when you nail these picks, like, yeah. people need to know. You actually know what you're talking about. Jeff, how do you feel about Bowman here, dude? Pierce only tweets about books. I mean, who reads books these days? <laughs> That's uh, true. No, I mean, I, I mentioned this range off off the top, and, like, I, I, don't, I don't mind just going back to Bowman this week either. I mean, certainly going to be motivated. And as Pierce mentioned, like, great, he, he stays clean, and he puts himself in position. That's the whole point of racing who cares how you get there uh there, we all know there's crashes there's weird things guys get like speeding tickets for going too fast in the in the pit lane 
Yeah, Bowman's a clean driver. Good. You should be rostering him at 8,500. I mentioned Ross Chastain at this price too, though. And I think you can even go down a little bit cheaper here. A guy like Daniel Suarez, who seems to be uh, like very interesting young driver. I mean, he's, he's got some very good, uh, like a little bit of decent uh, you know, course history, whatever, track history, I guess we call it. Coming off a of second place, I think Suarez at 7,800 is an interesting, uh, you know, play that you can go down to in this range as well. All right, let's talk value here. Uh, where is it in this race? What do you think, Jeff? I like Austin Dillon at 7,000. This guy has got five top 12 finishes over his last six races at Richmond. Um, you know, he's just been solid, solid driver. He's coming off a, t- a top 10. He had a second earlier in the year. I mean, there's there doesn't seem to be much not to like about Austin Dillon this week. Um, I'm just trying to figure out some holes in the argument here, but Austin Dillon at 7,000, definitely one of the top values for me. I think you can go down further, though. I mean, I think with the, the car changes this year, I mean, I don't have a, I know Bubba Wallace doesn't have, like, good track history here. He hasn't done much, but he's he's been pretty solid throughout the year. I mean, he's not coming off a great race, but, you know, he's put it together, like, a, a, a few decent finishes. And I think at 5,900, I don't mind taking a shot with him. Ty Dillon at 5,200 also popped a little bit. So those are the extreme value plays. But Austin Dillon at 7K, that looks like the most playable of the bunch. Pierce, real quick, value. Ty Dillon every week, four top 25 finishes in the four non-plate races. Average finish of 20th over that span. Harrison Burton's way too cheap for his equipment and his team. He almost won at Richmond in the Xfinity Series race last year. He's won at Martinsville. He's a good short flat track racer. All right, all right, guys, very quick here. Slater Proof pick, Pierce, your favorite DFS play, Richmond. Martin Truex Jr., look at the stats. you got to forget about current form because we've been in all kinds of different tracks. Lean on track history, like Jeff mentioned before. Truex, average finish of second over the last six races. All right, Ulrich. Daniel Suarez, 7,800.